Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sai. How the devil are you, mate? Today, after asking you guys on um, my other video, I said, if you were to pick any paranormal investigation team, who would it be? So many of you said, Paranormal Nightmare TV series. And in fact, I would agree. Because these guys absolutely rock. So make sure you go over to their channel, subscribe, and do the thing, okay? This video is called Trapped with Ghost. Two Families Haunted Paranormal Nightmare TV. What I like about these guys is they're very calm, collective. It's still, they're calm, but they still manage to keep things very interesting and very entertaining. Anyway, without further ado, da dilly day. Let's do, oh, hang on. You need to see this. Good evening. My name is Casper Sight. And I would like to introduce to you a new shoe that the whole world is talking about. Technology that we've never seen before. But before I reveal the fantastic new shoe, I would like to ask you this question. When you walk around, do your feet get tired? Are they heavy? And if it's unfortunate that it's raining that day, do your feet get wet? And that is why I'd like to introduce the new shoe, Vessi. Vessi shoes are extremely light. So light you won't even know that you're wearing shoes. They're stretchy. Which means on the days that you'd like to jog around and get fit, these are perfect. They also hold the technology called Dymatex. The Dymatex technology ensures that these shoes are 100% waterproof. And thankfully, we also have the technology to display these shoes in what we call high definition in videotape. Roll VT. As you can see by the videotape, these Vessi shoes are extremely light beautiful to look at and also 100% waterproof and not only do they keep your feet warm in the winter and cool in the summer but they are super light and very durable and easy to clean make sure you go to vessi.com to find out the full range of the different colors and styles that you may like the link is also in the description so there you go if you would like to get hold of these Vessi shoes yourself Make sure you go to vessi.com forward slash Casper site for your 15% off your order. Thank you so much for Vessi for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, Daddy Day, let's do this. My Go name on is Nightmare TV. And these are my brothers, Rocky and Sean. As children, the three of us experienced a very dark and evil haunting. We have now set off on a journey across the country, helping families trapped in their own nightmares, filming and documenting some of the most shocking paranormal footage. Do it again for us right now. Do it again. Oh, go, go, go. It's right there. That door slammed wide open. You know who we are. You know what we do. It all ends tonight. Manifest yourself. The? so we can see you. This is What the? Is this gonna happen now on this video? Holy moly, it's very quiet. It seems quiet for me. Paranormal nightmare. Look a bit to find it. Uh, I hope it wasn't too hard for you to find it. No. I'm Wendy, yes. Yeah. Thank, thank you for being here. Congratulations. Hi, Billy. Distress, mate, because they got a bloody shadow bastard in their house. Seeing dark shadows like next to the bed, like watching you when you're trying to sleep. I had like dogs we were like really attached to, and somehow they come down sick. So you've had several animals pass away here? Yeah. What do you think's here? I think it's something evil. And where do you experience most of the activity? In the back rooms. 
Because when I'm back there, I feel so scared and panicky. Like, I don't need to be back there. I'm seeing, like, really dark shadows just watching you wherever you go. Like, you're taking a shower. You feel like somebody's there, like, watching you. And I always feel like somebody's watching me. When I'm in the shower, I'm afraid to wash my hair. Because when I open my eyes, I find that someone's standing there. You're trying to sleep, and, like, you hear noise in the room, and it sounds like it's just right next to you. Ooh. Well, I feel like... Something's like standing over me, like trying, like breathing on me, oh. like trying to get my attention. Yeah, I say it's messing with my brother. It's causing him really bad health problems, and and he just ain't, ain't been acting like himself. Really oh. messing on his health and stuff, trying to really do damage to him that way. Mm. Uh, he's had a brain surgery and he's had two strokes while he's trying to do the operation. Oh, fucking hell! And. Uh, then they recently put like a like a machine that like goes over the heart where it can like trigger when he has one it snaps him out of it and it seems like it's doing okay but he's still having them so what's kind of your fear yeah, now that's horrible man as far as if you don't find out what's going on here i'm afraid it's going to hurt my brother or my mom and dad something really bad's going to happen no, I'm really hoping you guys can really help them and they can be like a normal family and don't have to worry about waking up to something that's going to harm them or... What do you think, Sierra? Something evil. Now, I say there's more than one here, too. Before I contacted you guys, she said she had a dream of this, like, dark shadow saying, uh, he's like, I know they're coming and they ain't going to help you. You ain't going to get no help at all. Oh, but fucking hell. Oh, shit. Oh, man. In the dream. I know they're coming. And they ain't gonna help you. Because we're gonna linger around. Tormenting you. And it's gonna be such good fun. Shit. Look, I'm gonna take everything away from you. Well, I contacted you guys. Really hoping that you can help us. And solve or find out whatever's here. If it's really good. Or like if it's bad. or We just need your guys' help. We appreciate everything you guys do to families, helping people. See, these paranormal teams, right, I, I find, like, because all of the reactions that I do, all of the reactions to the, the channels and stuff, I love them all because they're, like, if I'm feeling in the mood for a bit of hype, you know, I'll watch a certain type of channel. And if I want a bit of a calm collective, I'll watch a, a certain other type of channel, you know? Um, obviously, I've got my favourites, but... These ones, I feel like, I like watching them because I feel like they actually do something. Like, they they have a result at the end. Because, you know, he goes around and he blesses things and stuff. You know, that I actually feel like a lot of, a lot of paranormal investigators, they go out and they ask questions and they get information from these spirits or whatever. And they don't really do much about it. They go, yes, we got a response. And, yeah, well, great. But these guys, I think, they get, a re they get the responses. But then they try to set them free, um, you know, or they, they calm the house or heal the house, whatever they do. But it feels like they're doing their, they're, they're going there for actual mission to try and help to actually accomplish it over, move on to the next one. You know, that's what I feel like. That's why, that's why I like, I really like this channel. I really, really like this channel. Though the entire family has had personal experiences, it seems most of the attacks have been focused on the mother, Wendy. This black shadow figure, it looked like smoke. It crawled and moved on the walls and stuff. And, and I kept seeing it. And what it would do, what the f it would like paralyze me in the bed. Oh, you've had and sleep paralysis. Would shake and it would float. I've seen it. Oh, fucking hell. She's had sleep paralysis, mate. Fuck me. And that's why I'm thinking it's something that's not good and it's falling. And I can't get rid of it. Just fucking ramble with love. I'm sorry. What do you think it is? It could be a demon or something because my grandpa, when he was alive, he was a preacher. He came to our house and he said, You guys gotta move. Or this thing's gonna kill your daughter because it's after your daughter. 
And now since we've gotten down here, I've seen it two more times. I'm here to destroy you. belong to me. You come with me, nothing will happen. But if you don't resist, I'll take everything you you got away. Hey, if I if I was investigating, right? If I was a a, a proper investigator, I'm a, I'm a professional. Let's not get that mistaken. I'm a professional at everything I do. But if I did this full time, right? If I went in there and I was like a paranormal investigator, okay, I would be like Consultine. I would fucking r rinse every house that I enter. The spirits would be like, oh fucking hell. Ben's here. Casper Sight's here. Consultine's here, mate. Get the fuck out. And I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, let's fucking go. Because I ain't taking shit. And if there's any people who are getting haunted or getting bloody whatever, right, in your house and you're scared or afraid, just fucking ramble it. Consultine that bitch up. Show no fear. Fuck that ghost. This is a nice one. You know, if it's a bad one, that's what I'm saying. That'd piss me off. I've said it before. I'd be so pissed off if I got haunted. And look at the state of this woman. Look how upset she is. Right? Rambo it. And sometimes he comes in my dreams and warns me when he comes. He'll say, when you get ready, there's something bad coming, honey. You're going to have to get ready. He does. It actually happens. There's something happens with knocking we hear noises we hear booms i mean really loud bomb booms we've heard them twice right here in the corner back here we was watching tv and it sounds like a bomb goes off and we hear three knocks and this is the same night and this picture believe it or not that picture of my memo was sitting right there on the same wall it flew off and landed right here exactly right there after the three knocks and I said, oh my God, it's in, Bill. I said, we somehow got it back in the house. And that's it. I grabbed all the kids, ran up my mom's, and I said, Mom, there's something wrong with the house. And then we hear voices that mocks him, even sounds like him. When I lay down to go to sleep, it whispers in my ear, Mom, Mommy, or get up, wake up, I need you. And we hear children running around the house, playing at night. You can hear children running around, laughing and giggling. And the worst part is, I am 43, and I cannot sleep in my room. I do not sleep in that room. Bless my her. bedroom back there at all. I don't sleep by myself back there because something happened to me there that terrified me now, and I can't do it. I was laying in bed to sleep. I was laying there, and I felt something get on the bed. Look up, and there was this minion. It seemed like he came up underneath the bed and was doing this crawling looking thing oh on. fucking hell mate fucking hell man this poor woman is going through it I'd be like, <laughs> you, if you've seen Constantine, you know what i just did on the bed was pushing and he had this evil looking grin from one ear to an i mean it like and, and he I could tell you what he had on that's how clear he was he was just doing that creepy like crawling getting on the bed I screamed I don't sleep back there by myself in that room you can feel cold spots you know you can tell when somebody's a guy that used to own the property he was a very mean man he didn't like children he didn't like animals this is his land this is his property he wants us out of here we're not happy. You know, it tries to like it, tears, tears apart, makes us fight one another. What was that in the background? Listen, shush, shush. Argue and, and it just, we can't enjoy happiness here. And Hang I'm on. told. And what the fuck just happened there? Hang on. Listen. My husband, I'm happy. You know, it tries to like it, tears, tears apart, makes us fight one another. Argue. That sounds like a dog howling. And, and it just. We can't enjoy happiness here. And I told my husband, I'm ready to leave. I don't want to get away from here. I, I, I don't like it here no more. Now, is this throughout the day or the night, or does it really even matter? I actually don't really matter. It just, whenever it wants to kick up, it'll kick up. While my brothers and I investigate the house, we have asked the family to stay with friends for the night. Okay, so we're down here in Kentucky. 
We were contacted by the family. They've had all kinds of things going on inside this house, physically, emotionally, everything from pets dying, hearing loud bangs inside the house. From talking to the mother, it sounds like this might be something that's kind of attached itself to her from the childhood and, you know, been with her for several years. And for whatever reason, once they moved inside this house, things just kind of amplified. Well, what I like not. about this investigation is it's not just that they're hearing noises and, you know, having all these personal experiences. They're actually seeing these dark shadows move throughout the house, uh, manifesting right in front of them. And we believe Rocky, while he was in the kitchen with the part of the family, while me and Sean was doing the walkthrough, he's seen a entity manifest itself and move on the side of the living room. Next time I know in the room next door, it was like a shadow just shot straight across and came back into this room. If there's any spirits Shit. inside this house that can hear us or communicate with us, my name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. Can you let us know that you're in here with us? Out there. It's on, like off to my left. Can you knock louder for us so we can hear you, please? That's from in here. It's like back down this hall. I hear some sort of like rumbling, like a like a car engine or something. Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? We can hear you knocking. It's off to your left. Yeah. It's walking right now. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Come in here with us. Who said that? Hi. Is that you guys? I didn't hear anything. Male voice. It's in my earpiece. We're here to communicate with you. Find out what you want with this family. What you want? I swear I just heard somebody say Josh. But it came from, it sounded like it came from um, the boys room. I think this is where they were. Did you just touch me? Sorry. Don't ever touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see where he was. They say they see you back here. You crawl in bed with Wendy. Oh. Have you been with Wendy her entire life? You hear that scratching? Yeah. I keep hearing knocking. If you're able to manifest yourself, that means you have a lot of energy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see, saw that. Do something big right now and prove to us that you're here. Come on! I mean, this is all pretty much open. But you know how warm it was, like when we were shooting the interviews and doing the walkthroughs and stuff? Feel how much colder it is back in this area. You feel that? You're getting 57 degrees back here. There's no way this house is 57 degrees. Manifest yourself right now. Make it colder in here. Hey, imagine. Imagine if I... Look! Imagine if that just dropped. It dropped two degrees, huh? Mm. Are you in this room with us? Oh, mate. Hey, Hold on, do you see that? The like, yeah. Like, like there was a shadow that went straight through there. Which way to go? To the living room. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen one that looked like it went over Josh's left shoulder. We've seen you. I've got a Who funny feeling. We're going to see something, mate. It's like right here. I ain't no air. Oh, I feel it. You feel it over here? Yeah. It's like blowing on my face. It's like air conditioning. Touch one of us. 
she said. <laughs> 53 degrees right here. 53. That's dropped I down. My arm's getting cold. Shit, my arm. 76, 77. Touch Rocky. See, I know they're asking a lot of questions, but also, like, you know, they're getting the tools out. They're getting the, like, different things, like... I don't know, it just, it just, it just feels... Oh, oh fucking hell, what? what Shut up, Ben! Back here. Oh, oh, Holy sh There's a fucking face. There's a bomb. Oh, my fucking God. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, my God. There's a flash and light. Back in here. Holy Where was the face at? Get back in here. Come on. Come on. Me, there's a face right back here. It's a face. Yeah, Look straight at me. Hurry up. Get back here. There's a flashing light that keeps going from the right to the left. Oh my god. Door. It's flashing. Holy. Here, Josh. Okay, let me in there. There's a flashing light. Back up, Rocky. It's like right there. I don't know what. Who's that? Okay, back up. Let me in here. TP hit the flash. Oh my god, dude. I've never seen anything so freaking real in my life. Did you get in the flash? Yeah. You see it? Yeah. What the hell was it? What was the face in? I don't know what the hell it was. What's up there? He he yeah. shit himself, mate. He shit a brick. Are you serious? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, is that a fucking mirror? Is it his... <laughs> Is that a fucking mirror? I told you I see the face. <laughs> oh, mate. Are you fucking dickhead? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, at least you know that he was legit. It's a mirror. The yonder are about to shake it right now. <laughs> he's, he's like, hey, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I'm serious. You stand right here, and it looked like. Seriously, here, give me this, okay? Yo, Rocky, come back out here where he was. I mean, I could see it if you didn't know there was a mirror here. Don't it look like a, it goes like into a hallway, kind of a little bit? Yeah. Like a cubby hole? Yeah, you and think then it if goes. If somebody shines the light, I don't know. All right, <laughs> now I can get scared. <laughs> I know there was somebody that climbed up on this bed. It was climbing up on this bed. Well, you have got a dead animal hanging above your bloody bed. You know, that's enough to give anybody bloody nightmares. This is a lovely room of death. You're out there coming in this room. There's another one. Fucking animals all over this shop hanging off your fucking walls. I'm telling you, that did not look like my freaking face. Hold on, Rocky's. You guys, camera stop. No, I don't. I'm recording. Oh, you're recording? Yeah. I'm just saying that did not look like my face in that freaking mirror. Whether it was, it sure in hell didn't look like it. Can you do it again? Do it again! I keep hearing walking. That's what I just thought I heard too. Oh, mate. I keep hearing walking. That's what I just thought I heard too. Sounds like it's back here. Are you playing with people's emotions? Are you stuck on this land here? Do you have something to do with the deaths of the animals? We're here now. It's time for you to do something. Like lights. Where something blocks them out. It's like straight so, yeah. that way. Are you watching us right now? Sam, are you here with us? Can you make this light up? Come near me. Imagine if the fish the tank just went in. boom. If the little girl's in here, can you come up and make this light up? 
not here to hurt you or harm you. Just come up here near me, please. What do you think about these crosses above his bed? They want to stay there at night and camp there, like you know, not camp, but stay there overnight. I know we're not scary guys. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I say it. I say it. Whenever you see a family that is haunted, okay, they've got crosses everywhere. They've got crosses everywhere. I, I, I don't mean to diss because you know I'm not religious, but you know, and I don't. You know, have crosses. It's, it's a lovely thing, but I, I, what is that all about? Whenever there's hauntings going on, it's usually when the family is really religious. Some, you, you know, it's it's just like why, why wouldn't that wouldn't it sort of protect you from all that like bad stuff? It's a legitimate question. I'm not trying to hate. I'm just saying it's a legit question. The black shadow that was over in the corner. Are you in here? And like locations as well, which are really quite if you're truly religious. inside this house, we're going to cleanse this house here shortly. And we're going to force you to leave. So if you want to put up a fight, right now is the time to do it. Ooh. You're scaring the family. You're scaring the mother. Animals are dying. Do something right now. Are you afraid of the three of us? Animals are dying. Deer hanging off the, off the wall. Are you that big of a coward? Ooh. What is your name? Arnie! Are you the old guy that lived here that abused his wife, killed animals? You hear that? Pussy! You're a... Or oh, oh, did it say he's evil? Listen. That. He's evil. I, that doesn't sound like pussy. It sounds like he's evil. Listen. You hear that? He's You're evil. You're not us. That's not nice to say. Why do you keep calling me names? Is it because I'm being aggressive? Oh, oh. Do you hear it? Here the moon? Yeah. Knocks too. There's a moon back here. Three loud knocks. Yep. Am I getting under your skin? I hope I'm making you mad. Because you make me mad when you come in here and you scare these families. If you're dead, move on. There's no sense in you being here. Why are you here? Why are you here? You don't own this property no more. You're dead and you need to move on. Yeah, really, mate. Yes, really. Who's messing with Wendy? Get your What do you want with this family? It's my house! This is my train! Get off my train! Holy Move something or hit something really hard. This is your chance to tell us what you want. Okay, we're back. Indians! And she had uh, a, a, a Indian's uh, statue on the, in the background. Back in the bedroom back here where the daughter sleeps. Are you back in this room? Oh, oh shit. What? I'm done. Holy <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> May Get that round yeah, of it! Some just took off freaking running. I heard something right down the hall. Okay, go towards it. Oh my god. Come you on, mate. You hear that though, right? Yeah, it was loud. Where? Something just took off running. Did it go? Where'd you go? Trying to give me the camera. 
go back to that bedroom. And then Hey, you go back, you guys go back there. I'll stay down here at the Yeah. Where's the ghost box? It's right there on the table. Are you in here? Where did you run to? I find that hard to decide, like, you know, cipher. It's, I don't know. I don't know if they said that. Are you scared of us? think it said that i can't i can't hear that i can't hear that at all man is that you walking josh i'm not moving there's walking behind me somewhere you don't have nowhere to go now josh is out there me and rocky's over here footsteps close to you yeah it's in here in the kitchen all right well, if you're out there with Josh, do something. What's this here, look? Are you scared of Josh? <gasps> said Josh. Yeah. If you can talk through this, you can do something. Why are you running from us? It's a oh! It's a that, yeah, that. It's a Sean. That did say Sean's a pussy, mate. I thought it said Sean's. Oh. <laughs> Do you not like me? Oh, yes. oh, mate, this is freaking me out, mate. This is freaking me out. Give me your name. Is the grandfather in here? We know you were a jerk. You treated people mean. You treated your wife like crap. You scare Wendy, you come to her in her dreams. Wendy contacted us, so your time's about up here. Well, by myself. Are you scared to walk up to me? I've got a funny feeling this is going to kick off, mate. Yeah, there was a real big cold breeze off to my left, though. Yeah, this is going to kick off. I've got a bad feeling about this. We've heard you walk. Where are you at? Where you at? Come on! Did you hear that? I think whatever's in this house wants you and likes you. What? Are you out here? Do it again. What if me and Rocky leaves the house and you stay in here and see if you can get whatever it is to talk to? <laughs> they always, poor bastard, they always leave him in the house alone, don't they? Are you in this room behind me or in front of me? You are knock on that door. Oh, the shit! The God! The God! Bless me, that freaking... Wow. 
Did you hear that? I saw door. it and heard it, There's mate. There's a freaking door right in front of me. Come out of the bathroom. Oh, it's in here with you, mate. It's in here with you? Come out of the bathroom. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. Okay, so we just left Sean in the house by himself. Because whatever's in this house seems like it's more... It's responding more to him. Can you talk to me? Bang on something. Oh, oh fuck, oh. he's gone. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm oh. gone. Oh. 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 Josh is just laughing. No, no, no. Holy shit, I'm just hit something hard back there. <laughs> My heart can't take that. <laughs> Look, maybe. Hold on, it's back there right now. Fucking tell you. Did you ask anything? Yes. Okay. <laughs> if it could bang on something. And it did. Really fucked him up. Play it back. Josh, that alarm should be going off. Yeah, we're pretty far away from it. It went off uh? the time. Oh! Oh, you see a shadow? Yeah. Oh, shadow. shit! I hope you were filming down there. Oh, you see a shadow? Yeah. Shadow. I hope you were filming down there. This is what I'm saying, mate. This is... I, I, I fucking... I, man, I, I know I'm a skeptic, mate, but these guys just seem so fucking legit. They seem so legit. It messes with my melon. You were filming down there. Oh, you see a shadow? Yeah. A shadow. I hope you were filming down there. Holy Holy God. God. Huge shadow right there. You can clearly see this dark mass. Like, what is that? Room, down the hallway and into the kitchen. Not only was this dark entity documented on video, but it also triggers our alarm as it moves down the hallway. Huge shadow went right through there. Yeah. Did the back alarm go off? Yeah. I thought the, the IR. Oh, that was a oh, huge. huge Shadow. Tell you, you should have heard the bang. I mean, right see, after I asked for it. One of these cameras caught it. Hopefully, you were filming that, not the alarm. Set our alarm off. We seen you. That thing should have reached for, should it? Come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Any and all spirits, you must leave this house. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Demonic entities, negative attachments, you are banished from this room. This room is forever sealed. In the name of Jesus, we fill this room with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no dark places for the evil ones to hide. Hey. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I command you to leave this room. You are forever banished. Since the cleansing, the family is no longer experiencing activity inside their home. We will continue to pray for the family and pray for Andy's health. They're no longer getting the activity, mate? They're no, they're no longer getting the activity? Oh, congratulations. Let's go. Let's go. Black shadow came through the hallway. Then I seen a dart right, right into the bathroom. I'm concerned about you. I'm a little upset you're by yourself. You have me alone here inside this house. Whoever you are, whatever you are, do something to make yourself known right now. Cold chill right here. Cold breeze right behind me. I started hearing things. Oh, mate. Should we continue on? We'll find out today when you tell me in the comments. <laughs> That was brilliant, mate. I absolutely love these guys. They're absolutely amazing. And they, they've, mate, I'm so happy that that family isn't going through shit anymore. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, please make sure you subscribe and do the like and do the thing. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.